My name is Pedro Antunes and I am an associate professor in the Department of Biology at Algoma University. I have a chairship funded through the Ministry of Natural Resources to study invasive species and I am the research director of the Invasive Species Research Institute uh, here at Algoma University. We have uh, had several projects that in our view quite beneficial uh, to the community. They tie to the community in the sense that and I, the best thing is to give some uh, concrete examples and uh, one is a guidebook, a comprehensive guidebook that we wrote last year that has easy to follow information on what species forest woodlot owners should be on the lookout for. Uh, the other project we are doing right now funded through the Trillium Foundation uh, is to map invasive species uh, in the Algoma district using volunteers, training them on uh, um, top priority invasives that occur in our region and uh, give them GPSs and they collect a variety of information of data that we then use to produce uh, an atlas which will revert to the community. My role in the projects is to have the idea for the projects uh, or to uh, work with my students on developing these ideas, uh, helping or entirely writing the grants, uh, and then managing the project. We have meetings, uh, uh, frequent meetings with all the lab uh, members, the staff, and we'll go through the progress, uh, what has been achieved, what needs to be done. We brainstorm about new ideas. We are using combination of uh, approaches. We use modeling and then we bring in the above ground plant community uh, ecology um, framework and then we all look at the below ground component as well. So how does the below ground control the above ground? And we do this, the, the real innovation in my mind comes with the fact that we are using state of the art um, metagenomics approaches to identify who is colonizing or infecting these plants below ground and in addition to that we try to actually get to see these organisms by cultivating them by uh, looking at them try to grow them uh, to then test how these specific organisms some of which were not even known to science how they can control the growth of these plants. How can we use them then to, to allow us either to reduce or make plants grow better, uh, depending on what the intention is.